Hey YouTube, I picked up another interesting science related toy this week. It's called a hand boiler. It's made of two glass bulbs connected by a glass tube and filled with a volatile liquid, in this case dichloromethane. As the warmth of your hand warms up the liquid at the bottom, more of that liquid turns into a vapor, increasing the pressure and forcing the liquid up the tube. Once the uh, lower section has warmed up to a certain point, it will reach a state of dynamic equilibrium. So bubbles will continue to rise through the tube, but as they pass through the cooler liquid, they begin to condense, smaller and smaller until there's nothing left but the liquid. This will continue as long as you keep adding heat, turning into a heat engine that doesn't actually do any useful work. I'm going to use my slow motion camera to take a look at that last section of tube as you can see those bubbles collapsing back into a liquid. Here you can see the dramatic decrease in size of those bubbles of vapor. As those bubbles are cooled by the liquid that's passing by them, uh, they turn back into a liquid condensing against the insides of that bubble. Another interesting thing here is that some of these bubbles appear to stand still in the tube. They're actually being held back by liquid that's flowing down from the upper chamber past the bubble. Here you can see the bubbles even move backwards at some points. All of that vapor that's uh, condensing back into a liquid has to be replaced with something. And that's liquid from the upper chamber moving down past it so that it can become vaporized in the lower chamber. This whole process works because dichloromethane is a very volatile liquid. Made of two hydrogens, two chlorines, and a carbon atom, its boiling point is just under 40 degrees Celsius. That means that the energy from your hand is more than enough to turn some of that dichloromethane into a vapor. If you were to use another liquid, like say water, you would have to heat it a significant amount in order to get this same effect to happen. I hope you found this video interesting. If you'd like to see more like this, check out my channel. Thanks for watching.